What's good, YouTube? It's your man Jinx back out here again. Jinx PTV out here in lovely VA, Virginia. I believe this is Springfield that we're in. But I believe this area of Springfield. Y'all can chop it up in the comments as well. In the comics. In the comments, if I'm wrong, but Springfield and Farconia, I think it's called. And Fairfax, Fairfax, I believe are all in the same area. If that's not right, let me know. Because I came out here once before. I didn't come to this part, but I came out here once before. Um, and I thought I had everything down. I mean, I made it. I did make it to the hotel on the train. And that was the second time I've been on the train in 10 years coming from the airport. But, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments below where the hell I'm at. All right, let me just give you all a quick look. So that's what the highway says. So you look at the highway, look at the highway signs. Anybody who's familiar to the area can tell me where I'm at. I know the light's kind of poor. The sun is like right above me and in back of me. But it's Father's Day, y'all. You know what I'm saying? First of all, good morning, good afternoon. It's Father's Day. Um, I want to... Uh, start off by giving a big shout out to all the fathers out there on their ones and twos still doing their job you know what I'm saying even if you are not in your kids life or you know your BM is making it difficult um, you know at least you are a father that's at least trying their best to be involved so you deserve a happy father's day as well to all the mothers who's playing both roles as mom and dad, happy Father's Day to you too, because y'all got one hell of a job to do too. Um, been out here in Virginia since the 15th. Today is the 18th, so it's been three days. And the one thing that's very hard for me to do out here is to sleep. And I think it's more of the medication that I'm on for my uh, blood pressure uh, than it is crosses. Let me turn the camera around because I want my middle sister to see that I crossed the infamous highway from the hotel to the uh, the mall just to let her know that it got done. But I definitely can see her reserves on trying to run across this highway with my niece. Um, yeah, man, it is very hard to sleep out here. So, technically, 48 hours have passed. Well, not 48. Say about, since I left Massachusetts to come here, it's been about maybe a little over 50 hours. All right? I think I've gotten, out of those 50 somewhat hours, I've probably gotten about a, I don't know, maybe 10 hours of sleep. So, yeah, I haven't really slept at all. Uh, this medication makes you a little drowsy. So I figured it would be better to take this. Wow, this is long walking. I don't breathe too well in the heat. Ooh, especially in a different um oh shit especially in a lower environment not Boston um so then um what was I saying so yeah it's harder it's harder to uh I forgot what I was talking about I forgot I was saying something about the heat Oh no, the medication. So it's harder to sleep. So this, like I said, this medication makes you a little drowsy or whatever. It's not like a little drowsy, you know, something you might want to take. Baby, how you doing, girl? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Those Spanish women out here. Sorry, Spanish women are my weakness. I love me some Spanish women. I don't deny my sisters, but, uh, whew. The Boricas, Boric. I don't know why I can't formulate words nowadays. I feel like I'm fucking losing my speech or something. 
the most common words I'm having trouble with. But uh, the Latinas. Yeah, man, that's what I'm trying to get. But yeah, it's hard to sleep. So I figured, you know, you take this medication and at night you should be good. But I'd be breaking my sleep. I'd be have to go to the bathroom a lot. And it's not something I wanted to take during the day because I'll probably be on this for a while. You know what I'm saying? If not for the rest of my life. Um, and, you know, in my next job, you know, I can't take this type of medication on that job because the last thing they want you to be doing is uh, getting drowsy and falling asleep with the type of job I'm doing. That's just not going to happen. And I, one incident and I'm out of the job. Can't tell y'all what it is now, but maybe later. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I've gotten about maybe 10 hours of sleep overall. So um, out here in VA, all my family is, um, if y'all watched the vlogs before this, all my family is catching up on um, stuff they didn't do the day before right now. And I just, you know, I took a seat back and just said, you know, let them go and do their thing. And, um, you know, they get around it. A lot of stuff they're doing, I've already seen because I've been to D.C. twice already. Um, this was, this is actually my third time. So, you know, it was really something I really, really wanted to go and see. Um, I would have had mine seeing the MOK, uh, memorial again. That's one thing I wish I really could have, um, seen and took some pictures because I could have brought that stuff home for my mom to see, but sorry, mom. I just wasn't feeling like doing anything. I mean, it's about one o'clock p.m. right now they've been gone since i think 9 30 or 10 and i just got out the bed so and even when i was in the bed i still couldn't fall asleep like i'm still up you know i was editing a couple of vlogs from yesterday and then decided that um you know let me go out and try to find something from my dad for uh father's day seeing that today is father's day so we're gonna run into the store take a look around head back because i might go do something with them this evening they uh doing a couple of things this evening um i think my older sister's gonna be leaving tomorrow to go back to massachusetts and everybody else is going back to houston i believe on um tuesday and i'll be going back to boston home about back home to boston on tuesday so this might not be a very long vlog today depending on what's involved but if it is you know enjoy it and you know if you haven't already like and subscribe you know, hit that post notification so you know every time I upload a video, man. Let's get it, man. Let's let's go. Yo, real talk, yo. I have not shopped for a TV in a long time, right? Um, I got a 50-inch at my house, and, you know, if it ain't broke, I mean, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? And I see what TVs go for nowadays. Like, 249 this is what? Well, that's a 43. You know, these are all 43s, right? But you get down here to, like, the 55 inches or the 60 inches, like, come on, three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred dollars, three ninety nine. You know, everything in here is like five hundred or less, six hundred or less. You know what I'm saying? Now, me, I'm forty seven, forty eight. So I remember back when I used to go buy TVs. You can't even find TVs for those prices. You know what I'm saying? Not that I get the best paycheck in the world, but I could come in here and buy like four of those right now if I really wanted to. Like, it's crazy, man. Technology, man. And they got a, let's see. They got a, I'm looking at a Westinghouse 50 inch 4K Roku Smart TV. And it's literally going for $279. And another one for $259. But that's a 50, 43 inch. Like, oh, man. Technology is expanding, man. But yeah, we're not here getting him a TV because the man has like 50 of them, or five of them, I should say. Four, maybe. But um, yeah, we're still on the search. You know, my dad's kind of hard to shop for. I mean, the man has pretty much everything he needs, but 
you know, at this time, he really just wants to be around family and stuff like that. And that's not something you could put a price tag on, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're still looking and, um, hopefully we can find something, you know, something cool or satisfying for him and, um, you know, we'll go from there. So, y'all, been <clears throat> trying to, um, walk around and trying to find Father's Day gift. Or, you know, Father's Day gift, Father's Day sentiment, something. You know, just something to say, Happy Father's Day. But it is really complicated, you know. I also just realized, so I walked into Target originally when I came from outside. But I did not know that Target, when you get downstairs, that it opens up into a whole, whole mall type of jump off out there. I did not know that. I thought it was just... A little strip mall. I know it's a whole, you know, up and downstairs type of mall. You know what I'm saying? So I did find a few things which I'm gonna go with. Um, but uh, all right now, um, if it comes down to it, I think what I'll probably do is just like if I can't find something physical, I might just get them like a gift card or something and. You know, he can go in and grab something himself. So, like I said, it's, it's very difficult to try to find something that, uh, you know, you know, a lot of your parents would tell you, like, um, whether they like it or not, you know, it's the thought that counts and, you know, whatever you do, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the love. Uh, but, but I want to at least give him something. He could, so I just stumbled into the frozen area. Now the one thing I do know my dad likes is ice cream. The man is an ice cream fanatic. And he really likes that Blue Bell ice cream. Now I stopped eating ice cream a long time ago. Probably when I was like around maybe 10 or 11. I'm not the ice cream and cake type person. And stuff like that um i forget what it was that turned me off the ice cream i think it was like i used to eat at least like eat ice cream so quick so i would get like a lot of them head rushes all the time i mean, don't get me wrong i haven't like alienated it i just don't eat it as much as i did you know when i was a kid it's pretty much like non-existent now but my father's a huge fan of bluebell ice cream like when i was a kid we would go down south to visit him it was always a blue bell tub in the refrigerator. Always. The only thing I can't remember is the flavors. So, well, I don't see any blue bell out here, so um, we might have to skip on that one because, yeah, I don't want to just grab some random ice cream and it just ended up melting in his hotel room. So we just may have to forego the ice cream thing. So, let's move along. Yo, so, I just got a couple of things for him out of Target. Uh, nothing huge. Uh, once I get back home and get, you know, a little situated, I could probably send him something. Because this is just like really spur of the moment. Running out on ground. So, but yo, so I don't know if I showed you on the beginning of this vlog when I walked into Target and I'm looking at this parking lot and I'm like, yo, where the hell am I at? Cause this is definitely not the way I came in. I did go down one floor on the escalator, but I didn't expect to come out and see all this. This is like nothing compared to where I was at, where my hotel is. So what I'm thinking is maybe go back up the escalator, walk in the opposite direction, and maybe I can get my bearings right and see where I'm at. Cause I don't recognize this at all. I'm thinking it's like the same area where um we went to go uh where we went to go uh see the uh the Flash movie at. Cause when they go see Flash the other day, you probably would if you had saw the vlog. You see, I did my review on it. It's a good movie, but go watch the vlog because I have my uh opinions on it. But I'm thinking it's the same mall. 
you know, that mall wasn't far from the house at all, but I'm thinking this is the same mall. But I don't know. What I'm going to do is go back into, I'm going to go back into Target, retrace my steps, go back up the escalator, and go out the door I came in. Because this is definitely not recognizable at all. top of this escalator and go through the front door hopefully that'll put me back where I was before before all right I'm getting my bearings back so I think I know where I'm going I gotta say one thing about VA man whoo y'all got some women out here a lot of buns a lot of buns yeah all right let's see. enter only. Can I push it open? Nope. So let's go around to the exit side. Back in. All right. <clears throat> okay. That's more like it. Cause all right, so I was on the back side of the mall because y'all see that Hilton over there. Right there. That ain't the hotel I wish. But my hotel is like somewhere behind all that. So at least I know I'm on the right path now. All right, so now I know where I'm going. I was going to go to this LA Fitness just to get, you know, a couple of days of workout in. But LA Fitness be sure expensive. Like their day pass, their day pass at LA Fitness is probably equivalent to a basic membership. You know what I'm saying? So good with all that. Um, I'm gonna make one more stop. Something at this um, it's actually a smoke shop over here. I want to go to. I don't condone and my father smoking. You know, but you know, he's a grown ass man, he could do what he want, but I say if he's gonna do it, try to do it in style. So I'm trying to see if there's like sign of a um you know quirky little lighter or something I could probably get out of here to give to him to add on with the stuff that I got. And um after that we're gonna head back to the hotel. Probably gonna do, I mean, I did enough walking so far, but I'm probably gonna do like a loop around to get in my uh, LTC. Anybody that's on my Facebook know I got my early morning cardio, my LTC, lunchtime cardio, and then my LNC, which is late night cardio, which is, you know, just depending on what time of the day I do it, those are the nicknames for it. But, um, yeah, you about to walk into this smoke shop, see what we could do. See if we can find a little something, you know? All right. So we're at VA Smoke It Up. And next to it, you got VA Snack. I said Smoke It Up, VA Smoke Up. So we're gonna run in here real quick. I don't know if I can film in here, so when I get to the door, I'm gonna cut it. All right, so I went in. VA smoke up or smoke it up, whatever, whatever. Now I'm about to cross the highway of death. Uh, I think this is the Loins, Loins, Loins Highway. And uh, we definitely wasn't messing with this. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going to be trying to run across this. You know? So, but I mean, it's cool now. Maybe because it's Sunday. Ain't really too much going on out here. But. I cross it. I'm about to start. Do a lap of um time it's afternoon. So do a lap of lunchtime cardio. And then um head back to my room. I'm trying to like 
burn off some of this energy that's keeping me awake. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't know. I ain't doing enough, I guess. Because I feel, I feel wide awake. And, um, feel like I can go out and do nothing. But my finances ain't really keeping me moving like that. So, I'm trying to chill right now. I don't want to spend up too much. I mean, I do got to. I do got bills and pay bills and stuff to pay once I get back home. But um yeah, I went into that smoke shop. I was really trying to look for uh like a lighter, you know what I'm saying? Like a zippo lighter. And I figured that's one thing a smoke shop would have would be lighters. Well they did have lighters, but they didn't have a zippo lighter. And I wanted to get something like you know, something like you know, something with something on the front of it of more you know, my father likes uh <clears throat> um, like cowboys western or something of that you know things of that era so I wanted to find something either like cowboy on it or you know horse or something you know related to um, those times those frontier times or whatever but they didn't have anything like that they, had, they did have like big huge torches that look like damn 9 millimeters as you light them, they probably burn your damn face off. So, um, it did have those, and I didn't think that would be too interesting. It's just, you know, zippos is just something. I used to have a zipper when I was younger. And, um, just something to take out, like, real quick. Plus, with those, they're reusable, because you can, you know, get the butane and fill it up on the cotton on the inside, or, the, you know, whatever it is. You can replace the flint strike it back up again you know what i'm saying yes i did say i had a zippo because i was too a smoker you know what i'm saying i didn't smoke cigarettes there was a period i tried cigarettes but it just wasn't my thing and i don't see how i mean i can see how cigarettes can be hold on i don't know why i'm chewing on this thing in the first but uh, I can see how cigarettes can be addictive because both of my parents used to smoke. Uh, my mom doesn't smoke anymore, but my dad does here and there. But, um, you know, I was, I didn't indulge in other forms of smoking. You know how it is. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I don't anymore, you know what I'm saying? For one, I do have some pulmonary issues, which I mean, my pulmonary issues don't really dictate if I smoke or not, what the course is going to happen. Um, so whether I smoke or not, um, whatever's going to happen, you know, the, the, the type of pulmonary condition I have, whatever's going to happen is going to happen anyway, whether I smoke or whether I don't smoke, you know what I'm saying? But I just figured, you know, stop anyway. For one, it was digging into my pockets and, um, you know, and... The after effects in the morning, especially if you got some cheap shit, you know, the after effects in the morning is just corny, you know, it was just, you know, plus with the job, well, the job that I had and the new one I'm about to get, that's not something you can really be doing on the job anyway, because they do randoms, you know what I'm saying? So why would you want to get a good job like that and ruin it over something you could just stop doing, you know? So F that, you know? Why am I standing here? I just stopped and talked for a minute. I could have just kept walking. Oh, I was about to do a lap of lunchtime cardio. LTC coming up. All right, y'all. Tired. Well, I'm not tired, but tired of walking. So I'm heading back to my hotel right now. I'm over here. I'm not going to show y'all what hotel I'm at. I don't need any of y'all trying to roll up on it. To... Well, I, I need an autograph from Jinx PTV. What up, Jinx? Let me get your autograph. Now, some of y'all, some of y'all women out here, I don't see with the buns. Yeah. Bring the buns over. I'll kick it with you. Still ain't telling y'all where I'm at, though. But anyway, I feel like getting in the pool, man, but I don't know. I really need to try to get some sleep. I've been running on empty since yesterday. Uh... And for some reason, I just cannot. Well, I told you the reason earlier. 
because the way this, way came, the way my medication is set up. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm about to. I wonder if my family's came back yet. I think they did. Let me walk over here and check the car. Let's see. But uh, I'm about to go over here and um, go back to my hotel room. I'm gonna edit this vlog. And uh, yo, VA man, I like it out here. You know what I'm saying? The last two trips we came out here, I didn't get a chance to like go out and just be my be by myself and just walk around. So this, you know, this was the day I actually did it. All well, it was only for you know an hour or so, but you know, still cool. You know, to get out and breathe a little air. But I tell you right now, and I'm saying it again, I see some things out here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, VA man, any women out here that are single? Are you looking for down ass brother from Boston, Mass? I don't know about moving out here. We're gonna have to negotiate that. But uh, yeah, man, I don't discriminate either. I've never been the type to just like, oh, I'm gonna mess with one type of female. I mean, like this is the 21st century. You know what I'm saying? 2023 now. I mean, you gotta be versatile. I've all, I mean, me, I've always been versatile when it comes to like dating, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've never, I've, not that I didn't want to, but I've never really, I've never dated a white girl in my life. I've never dated a white girl in my life. Like there's never been a time that I've called a white girl my girlfriend. Now that's dated. I ain't talking about everything else. I said dated. So, but you know, that's something I'd be open to. Spanish women, I love them. Black females, my sisters, I love them too. But for some reason, I just, I don't know. I'm attracted to more Hispanic women than I am anything else. Back in the day when I was younger, I used to date a lot of Haitian chicks. You know, I don't know what it is. Like, it's not really about race to me. It's just more about, uh, it's a more of a mentality thing. Like, you could be the best looking chick on the planet and be dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? Or you can be, let's say, I've gotten out of the habit of calling people ugly or like, you know, insults and stuff like that. Because when I was younger, that's something I really did a lot. It's, you know, I ain't the best looking person on the planet, especially not the way I look right now. Um, but, you know, some people are, less fortunate or some people are insecure about themselves and don't want to do certain things to you know make themselves look better or can't it doesn't matter i think it's all really most of the time it's what's up in here as long as you know that's what you really want to get with is what's inside and not with the what's on the outside you know what i'm saying if now if you could throw the two together i tell you from experience that's some bomb sex you know what I'm saying? Let's put it that way. Uh, but yeah, I'm out here. I'm about to finish up. Just to finish up this portion of the vlog for today, this Father's Day vlog. Damn, I only did two laps. I don't know why I'm so windy. Probably because it's so warm out here. But um, <clears throat> um, just to finish up this Father's Day vlog, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there doing their thing. All the mothers out there who don't have the uh, luxury of having their baby fathers in their lives to help with their um, child, to have a father there. As you pulling two, you pulling two shifts right now, so happy Father's Day to you as well. And happy Father's Day to the fathers who are actually trying out there, you know what I'm saying? And um, to be in a child's life. And, uh, and happy Father's Day to my father. And um, that's about it, y'all. And Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. We still got a little bit more time out here in the VA. And, um, you know, stay up with me. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Hit that post notification so y'all know when I upload a video. The podcast, for at least the ones who know about the podcast, is going to be coming soon. Uh, we'll probably be doing everything virtual. Probably do OBS or whatever. So it'll be good. I do need um, two female co-hosts. Right now it's just... 
a couple of guys. But I think if we do it the way that I'm thinking we're going to do it, it's probably going to be a three, three mix, uh, three guys, three girls. So we can have different opinions um, on the topics that we talk about. And we're not just going for, you know, the this, this show's just not going to be based off of, uh, I don't, you know, the damn the Boulder podcast or some craziness like that where we talk about rocks all day or something like that. You know, we're going to talk about different different things in life, different different things, you know, just life stuff, you know what I'm saying? And everybody will have a topic they can give up every week, and as the show goes on, we'll be able to come up with more and more. We just want people to engage and, you know, come, support, uh, Oh, that's my pharmacy texting me about the uh, the medication I'm taking that's keeping me awake. So, um, you know, it's just going to be you know, an engaging podcast. But, you know, that's for a later time. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Y'all be easy. And again, happy Father's Day. Peace.